that's one of my favorite all-time races too as well because exactly what you said the the rivalry stoner yeah i think he was actually more than a half a second and and uh ahead of everybody else that weekend and just the way that rossi just sure will just stayed in front of him and dude it pissed stoner off so bad i mean he was so livid uh and he actually crashed on the last lap if if i'm not mistaken right didn't stoner Uh, go down on the last last lap and it was towards the end of the race. I know that. And Stoney was yeah. leading. It wasn't like Rossi pushed him off or anything. Stoney was leading. And I think Rossi had just psyched him out so much. Uh, yeah, but it's just every time Stoney, Rossi knew if Stoner got a bit of a lead for a while, he would pull a gap. And then that was it. Race is over. And Rossi just knew that, hey, he had to stuff that Yamaha up. Every, he could not let Stoner stay. He had to stuff the Yamaha up the inside. I mean, there were, there were, I mean, it wasn't dirty, but it was very aggressive. I mean, there were cases where Stoner was busy turning in the next thing, Yamaha. You know what I mean? But it was it was what Rossi had to do. He didn't have a choice. It was that or just concede that, you know, he's gonna he's gonna come second, he's gonna come second. And no racer starts racing to try and come second or concede. He's they're there to win. And it's what Rossi had to do, and he did it. Wow. <laughs> that and it just shows, yeah, it just shows the 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 legend that Rossi is, right? That willingness just yeah. to win it or bend it. I'm putting it all on the line. You are not winning today. Another thing, dude, that I loved about Rossi that nobody in history has ever done this before, at least that I know of. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's the only rider that I know that told another rider straight out to their face, you will never win another race as long as I'm racing. 